Hello guys, how's it going? I'm Cesar. Something that I always wanted to do was to be able to stream PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games. I have a PlayStation 3 that is backwards compatible, but I didn't know that the PlayStation 3 has something called HDCP, which means uh, high bandwidth digital content protection on by default, and it cannot be modified. In this video, I want to show you how I solved that problem. Let's get to it. So what I had to do was to do some research online and I figured out that the PlayStation 3 doesn't allow to do streaming because it has something called HDCP on by default and that means high bandwidth content protection. So in order to make it work, you need a splitter. Now if you guys have a PlayStation 4, you don't need that. You actually have the option to turn it off. But in the case of the PlayStation 3, that's not an option. So I had to get this little device. It's a little metallic box that has one input where you connect your PlayStation 3 and two outputs. One goes to the computer and the other one goes to the, uh, your flat TV. It also includes, as you can see here, a power cable. This power cable is a USB cable. So you would need to have an extra HDMI port just to be able to power up the splitter and it also comes with the uh, instructions. And this is my PlayStation 3. This model is 12 years old. I bought this in 2008, and this is the Metal Gear Solid 4 edition. Uh, this particular model is backwards compatible, which means that it can play PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and obviously PlayStation 3 games. I don't believe, um, I don't think the games are emulated. I think the actual chips from the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 are actually inside this box, this uh, model. So, uh, so I, my belief is that it just runs the games well. And well, I gave it a clean because it's a very old model, so I just had it in a box. Now here I am connecting the HDMI out to the HDMI input of the splitter. The process is very simple. All you have to do is connect the power cable to the back of the box. Then I connect one HDMI output on one end and then the other cable on the other end. And like I said before, one goes to the back of your uh, television or flat screen and the other one goes to your capture card. I decided to test it out with one of my favorite games, Metal Gear Solid. And as you see right here, it just works. So that was very simple. I also did a test with other games, uh, like uh, there's this game called um, Ghost in the Shell, which is a very old game. It was, it was released in 1997, I believe. And, uh, oh here, here you see, you see there's a lot of cables, so obviously I'm gonna have to do some cable management there. Also, I checked the audio. It seems like the audio is working fine. So, it's very simple. As you can see here, as long as you have the cables and the, uh, and the splitter, it just works. So I highly recommend this, if this is something that you're interested in doing. So, once again, uh, this is how you do it, and if you guys like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel, and also don't forget to subscribe to uh, my social media channels, well, you will see down below, if you want to see more, uh, whenever I post more uh, content. Thank you guys, and until next time.